Morning grade sevens, welcome to your last lesson for the week. This is part four of lesson nine. In this lesson, we will be going through a very easy section. It's flow diagrams. We've been doing this since grade four. Okay, so flow diagrams are made up of three parts. We've got our input, our rule, and our output. So input is basically the number you are using. You then apply the rule to get your answer, which is the output. So let's look at this first flow diagram. My input numbers that are given is 13, 15, 17. Then there's two blank ones. My rule is plus 3,5, which is 3.5. Then my output numbers, I need to find the first three. Then they give me 25 and 33. Now flow diagram, very easy. You just follow the arms of the flow diagram. So we start on this end. 13 plus 3,5. So you're just going to work it out on the side if you need to. Or you can do it in your head. So 13 plus 3 is 16. Plus a half is 16 and a half. So the first one is 16,5. And 15 plus 3.5 is 18,5. Then 17 plus 3.5 is 20,5. Now the next one, the output number is given, but not the input number. So we're going backwards, and when we go backwards, we do the inverse. So if my rule is given as plus 3.5, my inverse would be minus three and a half. Okay, so 25 minus three and a half, you can work it out in your head. That is 20. Let's give you a minute. Quickly do um, both of those, do the inverse. So you're going to subtract. Okay, so 25 minus three is equal to 22. Minus a half is then 21 and a half. Okay, now we do the same here. 33 minus 3 is equal to 30. Minus a half is then 29 and a half. So flow diagrams are very, very easy. You follow from the input to the rule to the output. If you need to work out the input number, then you just go backwards and you use the inverse operation. So we have not reached the end of the, um, the topic yet. There will not be a knowledge test yet. Please just continue with the activities and make sure everything is done in your workbooks and your knowledge tests are submitted. Have a great weekend, guys.